When an object moves in a curved or circular path, the object is subject to a center-seeking force called centripetal force. This force is directly related to the object's net inward acceleration and uniform circular motion. The object moves with constant speed, yet changing direction. Thus, its velocity is not constant and the acceleration is non-zero. In this experiment, I will conduct several short investigations examining how the object's mass influences the period of a revolution under constant force and constant radius. I will also examine how changing the radius of the circular path affects the period of a revolution while the object's mass and applied force are held constant. In the final investigation, I will vary the applied force to determine the effect on the period of a revolution when holding the radius and mass constant. First, cut a piece of string approximately 1 meter long and feed it through the hollow tube. Secure plastic tie through the center hole in each stopper. Tie one end of the string to the plastic tie to the stopper that is to be used in the specific experiment. Tie a loop at the other end of the string and hook a mask through the loop. Remember, make sure that no one is standing close to avoid hitting others. Hold the tube far enough away to avoid hitting yourself. Measure the mass of the stopper hanged mass and record the value in table 1. Firmly hold the tube and start rotating the rubber stoppers shown in the following photo. Continue spinning the stopper until it reaches full rotation and hanged mass will be in equilibrium. Use the stopwatch to time 10 revolutions of the mass while maintaining a constant speed. Record time of 10 revolutions in table 1. Stop rotating and measure the radius of the stopper and record the value in table 1. Repeat data collection three times. Do not change the stopper and hanged mass. Complete the table 1 and 2. The force that acts through a string is referred to as tension. A force sensor can measure the tension through a string in newtons. An object's speed and direction is called velocity. If an object is tied to a string such that its speed remains constant as it travels around a central point, it undergoes uniform circular motion. Even though the object's speed is constant, its velocity is constantly changing. According to Newton's second law, a 1 Newton force causes a 1 kilogram object to accelerate at 1 miles per second squared. An inward or center seeking force is called a centripetal force. A constant force means a constant acceleration, which makes sense if the object undergoing circular motion has a constant change in velocity. If the centripetal force is constant, variables such as radius and mass are proportional to the time it takes to complete a revolution.